Hi there, Aubrey here, the Scan and Cut teacher, and I'm here to show you how to create labels and stickers using the Scan and Cut machine. I have printed some labels that I plan to use in my Happy Planner. I printed these labels on Avery full sheet shipping labels. So let's begin. I'm going to go into the scan feature, direct cut, and for this one I am scanning in color. Most of the time I choose black and white as it picks up better, but in this case it picked up better in color. Now in the color mode, you do have to frame the image before moving on. In black and white, you do not do this step. And in the color mode, it does take longer to recognize, so I will be pausing the video. All right, as you can see, the machine picked up a whole bunch of these tiny little rectangles. And like you can see down here, it's not perfectly straight. That's likely because my paper is not perfectly aligned on the cutting mat. I've cut plenty of pages like this earlier and they came out beautifully. So it's not anything to be concerned about if it's a little off like that. If it's really jaggedy, I would adjust the color scale here and see if it works out better. If not, rescan, but this will be fine. So the trick with vinyl and sticker paper is you want to do a kiss cut. And so that is where you cut the, the sticker paper, but not the backing. That is the same with vinyl. You want to cut the vinyl, but not the backing. To do this, you need to find the blade depth that does that for you. For me, it's about a two and a half, maybe just a smidge above a two and a half. Most machines, it's anywhere between a two to a three. So you'll just have to do test cuts to figure out what works for your machine. The next key is going into the settings feature, and you will see there is cut speed and cut pressure. Speed is how fast the machine cuts out the material. For more intricate designs, you'll want a lower speed. For simple straight line designs, you can go up on the speed. For this, I could increase the speed since it is straight lines, however, I do prefer to keep the speed low as it helps preserve the blade. Cut pressure is how much force is being used on that blade to cut the material. Delicate materials such as vinyl, you'll want to drop that pressure down low. For thicker materials such as fabric, you will want to bring that up as it is harder to cut through fabric than it is through vinyl. For the sticker paper, a pressure of one was perfect for me earlier and I usually keep it at a one to a two for cardstock. I know that's a little bit higher than some people usually keep it. However, I find that if I do not put it that high, I have some spots in the cardstock that do not cut all the way through, but I digress. So I'm going to leave my settings like this, hit okay, cut, and since I am going slow and there are a ton of these little rectangles, it does take approximately five minutes. All right, the machine has finished cutting and now I have stickers ready to use in my planner. I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions.